Uh, I just stopped you in the street, my friend. Is that right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. And we haven't had a conversation? Nah. Okay. Nah. And whereabouts are you from, my friend? Oh, I'm from outside London, but I just stay here for holiday with my nan for a bit. Okay, you, you live in England? Yeah, I live in England, okay. yeah. And uh, whereabouts in England do you live, my friend? Um, Milton Keynes. Milton, Milton Keynes. Keynes, okay. It's a city just near London. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And whereabouts are your parents from? Ghana. Your, your parents are from Ghana yeah. and what religion do you follow? You said you don't follow a religion. Well, my dad's Muslim and like, yeah. And my, your mother? My parents are Christian. Okay, your grandparents are Christians. Your father's become a Muslim. Yeah, he's been a Muslim since he was 18. He's 15 now. Okay, fine. So he's become a Muslim and your mother's a Christian? Well, I'm not sure because she doesn't go to church. Not really, yeah. So, She's a Christian, but she doesn't practice a religion. Yeah. Okay. And what do you believe, my friend? Do you believe in God? Um. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You do believe in God, and um, uh, what do you b- uh, believe about Jesus? Do you believe Jesus is God, or do you believe Jesus was somebody sent by God? I don't believe he's God. I okay, be- you don't believe he's God, so okay. Uh, you believe he's what? Sent by God. Sent by God with a message. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's a messenger of God then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, right. And that's what the Muslims believe about Jesus. Yeah. You're very close to Islam. Do you accept Muhammad as a messenger of God as well? So I don't know actually your name. What's your name, my friend? James. James, okay, James. Uh, do you also accept that Muhammad is a messenger of God, peace be upon him? Yeah, my dad tells me he's a messenger. Your dad says that. Yeah. Do you know what the proof is that Islam is true? Uh, Quran. Yes. The Quran is an absolutely amazing book. It's a miracle because it's unchanged for 1400 years. It's a book that's got many, a lot of science in it. Okay, and all the science is 100% correct. You know, the embryology, the expansion of the universe, the gravity, uh, the construction of mountains is all correct, 100% correct. There isn't a single scientific error in the Quran. It's a book that's memorized by millions of people and um, all over the world and it's easy to memorize. It was given to a man who couldn't read or write, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's got a challenge in it from God. It's produced the largest practice religion and the fastest growing religion and therefore it must be a miracle. Do you agree? Yeah. And if it's a miracle, it must be from God. Yeah, yeah, because he couldn't read or write. That's right. right. He couldn't read or write. And of all the science in the Quran and the powerful la- Arabic language in the Quran shows it must be from God. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That means that you accept the Quran is from God? Yeah. The Quran says that Muhammad is a messenger of God. Then you should accept Muhammad is a messenger of God. Yeah. Okay. And so do you accept that? Yeah. Right. Uh, there are six things we believe in, brother, yeah. to be a Muslim. Number one, we believe in Allah, of course, Almighty God. And this is that we believe Allah is Almighty. He's all powerful, Almighty, uh, uh, Almighty God. He's all powerful. He's all seeing. He's all, all hearing, all knowing. He has no beginning. He has no end. Uh, he has no parents. He has no children. There is nothing whatsoever like him. He's absolutely perfect and all powerful that's number one two we believe in uh, the angels of god angels of god are god's creation they do whatever god wishes them to do whatever god tells them to do and they do not disobey god they always listen to god okay they sometimes question things but they'll always obey god does that make sense yeah yeah okay. thirdly that's fine and thirdly we believe in the books of almighty god god has sent down books for our guidance the quran is the last book earlier books were given to other prophets like for example some scripture was given to the prophet abraham okay uh the um, psalms given to the prophet david peace be upon him the Ten Commandments and the Torah was given to the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Okay. Uh, the Injil or the Gospel was given to the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. And the Quran, of course, was given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That's the last revelation from Almighty God. It's the revelation by which every single human being will be judged on the Day of Judgment. With the Quran is the completion of the message and the completion of the favor of Allah upon us. And the Quran has been preserved and will be pre- preserved until the day of judgment. There will be no more revelations, there will be no more books, and there will be no more prophets.
Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we believe in one God, the angels of God, books of God. We believe in the prophets of Almighty God. Almighty God has sent prophets to all nations at all times. Earlier prophets were people like Adam, who was also the first man. And other prophets were people like Abraham and Moses and Noah and David and Solomon, Joseph and Jacob, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them all. And Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last of the prophets of Almighty God. And there will be no more prophets of Almighty God. Okay, he's the last. Uh, you happy with that, my friend? Yeah, and... Okay, one God, angels of God, books of God, prophets of God. Fifthly, we believe in the day of judgment and heaven and hell. Day of judgment will be when every single human being uh, will be standing in front of Almighty God and we will be judged by Almighty God. And he is the judge and he will decide who will go into heaven and who will not go into heaven, go to hellfire. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Sixthly, we believe in predestiny and free predestiny and pre-knowledge. Everything is known by Almighty God and everything has been planned by Almighty God. How does that work? Uh, does that mean we have no free will? No, we believe we do have free will. Almighty God can still plan around our free will because he's outside our space and he's outside our time frame and he might be outside time altogether. Because he's outside time frame, our time frame, then he can plan the future around our free will. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. These are six beliefs of a Muslim, my friend. And if you believe in it, then really um, you're a Muslim. And you should confirm that, uh, James, by saying, I bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is Allah's, is his messenger, is his servant and his messenger. Are you happy to say that? Yeah, but I can't remember what you just said. Okay, well, no problem. I'll say to you slowly. You say, I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. There is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. Is his servant and his messenger. And is his servant and his messenger. Okay, and you say in Arabic, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la ilaha. An la ilaha. Illallah. Ilala wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna atna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa rasuluhu wa rasuluhu congratulations you're muslim <laughs> okay and um, i'll give you a big uh, hug if that's okay i'll embrace with you uh, with my friend and uh, it's a very very big favor of allah upon you you know, we haven't had a conversation. It's not acting, was it? I literally stopped you a few minutes ago, five minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, and you were going past, and I asked you, and you said you don't follow a religion. And uh, just five minutes later, you've agreed that Islam is true, and that the Quran is from God, and that Muhammad is a messenger of God. That means you're a Muslim. So are you happy you become a Muslim? Yeah, I'm happy I became a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So message to other people, uh, they should become Muslim as well? Yeah, if they don't know what religion to follow. and. They don't believe in anything. Yeah, they should. Okay, fine. Brilliant. And you said your dad's already a Muslim. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, what's your dad going to say when you go back? And you're going to go back and tell him you're a Muslim? Yeah, I'm going to tell him when I get to Mujikins. He's going to say, he's probably going to say like, make sure you pray and follow the rules and stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's he's, he's going to be pleased. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What about your mum? Your mum's a Christian. Is that going to be okay with her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, it is. Because yeah. she, she hasn't got a problem with my little brother's being Muslim. Cause oh, your, your little brother's become Muslim yeah. and she hasn't got a problem with that? Yeah, she, yeah. she's like, it's good because they follow my dad. Cause my dad, like, it's a man, so yeah, he, they follow what my dad does. And yeah, I, I'm happy to follow what my dad does as well. Yeah. Sounds good. That's good. And uh, hopefully you give dawah to your mother and she becomes a Muslim as well. Shall <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Okay, but you're going to give a dawah. You're going to give a dawah. You know what dawah means? To invite. Yeah. You're going to invite to Islam, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mum, it's about time. Do you have any other brothers and sisters? Um, my little sister. Yeah. Okay. She's not Muslim yet. No. Nah, okay. So you have to give two people dawah then. Yeah. Your mom and your sister. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man, that sounds good. That sounds good. And uh, and then maybe you'll come back one day and tell us how you're getting on. Yeah. Okay. You you came to London to look for a job. Yeah. I came to stay with my nan, but um, for because I finished college. So you came to stay with your nan and look oh, for a job. Yeah. And Allah's given you a place. Yeah. In paradise? Yeah. It sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah, okay, salam alaikum. Congratulations. <laughs> Take care, brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Never alone.